more rain, I think, later in the week, but I think that's the extent of our impact. It could be a lot worse. If it was two months ago, it would be a whole different forecast. The fact that it's November is actually a good thing. I would not panic about this. Of course, we'll watch it. Make sure you stay tuned. But by the time it reaches the northern Gulf later this week, it's going to be a lot weaker. It might not even be really anything. So we'll take you through it, though, every single day. It is now a tropical depression. It is getting its act together. It's in the Caribbean. That's where it's a little bit more favorable for development, but the Gulf, not so much more hostile in the Gulf. Good news for us. So hurricane conditions are expected for parts of Cuba getting into Wednesday. So it will be strengthening to a tropical storm today. It will stay a tropical storm through tomorrow, past nearby Jamaica as tropical storm Raphael, and then up to cat one on Wednesday. Again, this is when it passes by Western Cuba, and then it gets into the Southern Gulf on Thursday, and and it will still be a category one, but this is when some stronger upper level winds, some drier air and cooler ocean temperatures will have to grapple with TD 18 and this will, well, which will be Raphael at that point. And that is what it's that is what is going to knock it down in intensity it will be a much less intense system, probably down to a tropical storm by Friday into Saturday. But there's a lot of uncertainty in the cone. We are included in the cone, but the models are kind of everywhere because it's got those limiting factors. It's kind of a gamble about where it's going to go. But no matter what, it's going to be a lot less intense later in the week. So not a huge concern. But again, make sure you stay tuned with us every single day. We'll talk about the steering current that's getting pushed to the northwest by this ridge of high pressure off to the northeast of it. And then as we get into later in the week, this upper low starts to cut across the country. We'll see stronger upper level winds because of that. Plus, we've got some drier air working into it, not to mention the ocean temperatures in the Gulf in the 70s. So all these things that help keep it on the low level concern, I would say. This is not a huge concern for us, but we'll be tracking it with you every single day. Also, I want to show you the wind shear picking up from the southwest later this week. That will really help to tear this thing apart, to tear up Raphael later this week. But I do think we're going to see some, you know, more rain as a result of this across the Gulf Coast, some breezy weather, some rough seas later in the week. Rainfall totals for us in the New Orleans area, southeast Louisiana, south Mississippi over the next seven days. So over the next week, We'll probably pick up around maybe an inch or so of rain could get up to two inches in a few spots. So that's something we'll be expect expecting over the next week. Some rain and some much needed rain. You know, we could benefit from this rain. We've been pretty dry lately. We're going to get rain out ahead of this tropical system, not connected to it.